If you'd like to stay up to date with all Fat Ants videos, hit that subscribe and bell icon. Hello and good day everyone. My name is Noel with Fat Ants and basically I'm just going to give you guys a quick little update on this new YouTube channel I've created and exactly what I'm intending to do. So essentially, um, the big three here, tutorials, explanations, and documentations. I really want to hit on those three uh, very hard because I think that that's what makes this hobby so much fun as far as ant keeping is uh, the new things that you learn and how you can teach others to do them, the explanation behind why you're doing it and why something's happening, as well as the documentation of how my ant colony is growing uh, throughout the months and hopefully even years. Uh, but yeah, so essentially I'm excited to announce that I officially launched the Fat Ants YouTube channel. So uh, without further ado, take a look at some of my video footage and we'll discuss some things. Alrighty, so kicking things off, if you're familiar with the different types of ant species, some of those with keen eyes might be able to pick out that I have some Fidoli queens. Uh, essentially, right now, they're being housed in what's called a test tube setup. If you don't know what that is, a quick Google search could definitely help you out. But essentially, what it is, is you take a test tube, you fill the bottom portion of it with water, you cap it with a cotton ball, you put the ant queen in the middle, and then you put another cotton ball on the top. So this allows for proper ventilation, proper hydration, all of which are necessary for your queen to start laying eggs. Um, this particular species, uh, Fidoli, um, I'm sorry, that's the genus, I found right in front of my apartment. I live basically right near the woods on a nature preserve, so I was able to come across them during their nuptial flights. Uh, unfortunately, all the males uh, <laughs> kind of got caught in the spider web right outside my door but a lot of the queens dropped right in front of where I live and I was able to dig them out and find them so currently in my group of ants I have 11 queen Fidoli ants now I am just getting started with things so I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep all 11 but essentially some of the first founding queens that I get uh, you know those that develop their first uh, generation of workers I'll pretty much keep. I have a formicarium ready to go. So right now I am just playing that good old waiting game till the queens raise their first generation of workers. Uh, of course when that happens hopefully I can take you guys along uh, the process of when I start seeing the first couple of workers. Uh, so essentially I just want to take you through all the stages of the natural lifespan of this Fidoli queen ant uh, colony. Uh, hopefully I'll just settle on one queen and then raise it from there um, but we'll see we'll see what happens alrighty so while recording I think I was uh, disturbing her a little bit uh, but nonetheless I caught some good footage of her moving around her eggs so not a lot of people know that eggs are pretty tough when it comes to uh, you know surviving the elements I mean, she has them in her mandibles right there, uh, so it was really cute catching her uh, move them around, cleaning herself, trying to find a good spot for them. Uh, again, I thought she, I think she was just not too happy about the light, um, but I wanted to get some good footage for you guys. Um, so yeah, check it out. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, so quick little note here, um, the reason half of the test tube is covered and the other half isn't is actually because I have two of them connected to each other. As you can see, there was a little bit of mold development in both of these test tubes, so um, I was encouraging the queen to move to a new one. Um, and uh, you can also see the water running out a little bit, so I just needed to transfer everything over, uh, so that's what you're seeing here. Alright, so that about wraps it up for my first video. The last thing I want to leave you guys on is this really cool mini hearth I got from Tar Heel Ants. Go ahead and check them out. It's run by a guy named Mac. 
really nice guy uh, there was a scratch on my glass that got sent over I don't know it was probably just the, uh, the shipping or something uh, either way he sent out another one straight away uh, so this, you know it's scratch free awesome guy check him out I'll put their link in the description if you're interested so I'm really excited to get the ants in there of course it'll take some time uh, because Fidoli is a very small species so um, the mini hearth is kind of big for them and might house them for <laughs> almost a year who knows uh, but anywho if you really enjoyed this video go ahead and give me some feedback um, right now I'm really looking to get a hundred subscribers once that happens I can get my custom URL so that's really cool that's my new goal for the uh, month hopefully uh, go ahead and check out my website my Facebook page both of those will be in the description I look forward to hearing from you guys uh, so give me some feedback and we'll see you next time again this was Noel with uh, fat ants and we'll see you then okay guys